Yo, what going on guys? How y'all doing? Today we'll be looking at Monica. One thing I want to note, if you look at her art, this is an older art. This is around 2016, the early 2017. I've been playing this game for a while. And if you notice all your characters, if you list them by release date, um, you could tell how the art had changed over time. And this art is ultra old. So this character should have been out a long time ago. Just throwing that little note out there for people who've been playing this game. But today we'll be looking at Monica. She's the newest free SSR and our very long list of free SSRs. Um, pretty cool unit. Um, she's pretty decent. I wouldn't say she's that a bad unit or anything like that. Though I do wish her art was updated to be more 2018. Oh well. Um, rest in peace, Monica, Nightgown, whatever. Um, she's a wind human balance saber katana. I don't know why katana maybe uh, Whatever. I don't I don't I don't care that much, but she is for the like five people who want to run the katana one team Now her Oki is a violet squall uh, slash with cuts one cooldown to all her skills I believe all of them right so that's really good. It helps her proc her nukes a little bit more consistently. Um, I have nothing to say about that. It's pretty much one of the better Ogis on the free-to-play character. Usually the free-to-play characters are lacking on their Ogis, but she has a pretty decent Ogi. Now we're looking at Chain Glare, which is her first skill. It's six hits of wind damage to a foe and boost to cast her dodge rate, her boost being 70% dodge rate. And she gets a sharp boost of hostility. This is best used against a boss with a lot of attacks because you're likely to dodge at least one of them. Um, dodging attacks on this character is very crucial because you have the gimmick behind her dodge. But we'll talk about that when we get to her support skills. Now, her second skill is Violet Sock Flare. Now, this is pretty much her main go-to skill. It even had the lower cooldown, the lowest cooldown on her being five, um, four after an Ogi. It's a win damage to all foes, hit to defense. It's stackable, so do know that it does stack. It's stacked at 30%, so after six times, it will be capped out, each stack being 5%. Also, raises Violet Sock level by one. Violet Sock is her um, passive skill, which gives her a buff depending on the level from level one to five. I'll talk more about what she gains on each level when we get the support skill, as that's where it's really down. Really, guess she gets the boost from. Now, ooh, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Oh, no one's seen that. Oh, <laughs> no one's seen that. Now her last skill, the Wind of Enforcement, dodge all attacks from foes and also gets her a substitute effect, 20% boost to all allies charge bar upon dodging. This is best used on either a AOE attack or an Ogi. You do get a free 20% charge bar. Also, if you note, this dodges all attacks from foes. Therefore, it also counts as a dodge. Therefore, it also procs her support skill. I've been talking about the support skill a lot, so let's get to it right now. Now, when skits near, the skit near, oh, uh, I something like that. Boost harmonica's dodge rate and violet, uh, violet sock flare activates upon dodging. This is why dodging is so crucial on this character. Every time Monica gets a dodge, she gets a free nuke. It does not cost her cooldown, does not reset her cooldown. So it's a free nuke for every dodge. Therefore, if you combine it with Wind of Enforcement, that gives her a nuke for free, always. Now, it does have a hefty cooldown at nine turns, so it's not that great, but it is a free nuke at the start, letting her get Violet Sock up even faster. The faster you can build it, the better off you can be. Now, for her last support skill, Deputy of the Fourth Fleet. This is where Violet Sock actually kicks in. So it gives her a boost to her attack, multi-attack, skill damage, and her skill damage cap 
based on her violet sock level. For example, her attack boost would be 6% per level, 6% double attack per level, 3% double uh, triple attack per level, 10% skill damage per level, and 5% skill damage cap per level. Maxing out level 5, you can do the math, multiply it by 5. 1, 2, 3, or 5. 1, 2, 3, or 4, or 5. Off one. Pretty good. See capping out at pretty, like, 30%. I believe it's normal attack up, though. So, people with Tmot gains more um, value out of this passive. Same thing when it goes to multi-attack and triple attack. Though, I don't think that matters too much. Give her more consistency. I do wish the um, skill damage and skill damage cap was flipped around. As she gained, obviously gained more skill damage cap up opposed to um, skill damage. One thing I would note about Vodic Sock Flare. Somebody asked me this on Discord. And um, no, it does not. Her passive does not um, give Lesia a stack of attack order. Just so you guys know. If you go planning to run them together, it does not work that way. She does not gain any stacks for free. I wish she did, but no, it does not count as a skill. Now we're looking at her EMP bonuses. Her EMP bonus is actually pretty decent. You definitely want to invest in skill damage cap immediately and her support skill. Support skill is a slight chance of one turn cut to um, skill cooldown uh, upon dodging. It's not that bad, it's better than nothing. You definitely want to go with skill damage cap, critical hit, and then support skill. Um, the last two you could probably put in double attack if you really want. Depending on the character you're running, you may already cap double attack, especially if you run the Ultima. Ultima plus her passive maxed out, and you're looking at around 50 already. Not not including any OG or anything else. So do note on your team what's best for you. I don't know what characters you guys run. But I'm telling you little tips for that. Anyways, let's get to a fight with her. Uh, let's see how she do. Let's see how good she is, and um, let's go. Okay, so this is gonna be a little bit longer of a run. I decided not to bring Eternals, so I, I brought a nice like full sword team. Also, I'm doing Yig Grass, so high level. So we'll see how it goes. Now, you guys may or may not know, I don't really play my Grand Blue account nearly as much as I used to over the last like month or so so do tell me how you guys feel about the current state of the game as personally you guys probably know i'm not too much of a fan of it but do tell me if i'm not the only one thinking that am i insane should i be playing more what do you guys think do tell me so right now i'm gonna just try to get as many nukes off we have to be getting attack order five pretty fast so I don't think I'm going to activate it instantly. Right. Unless they triple attack, in which case maybe I will. Okay. Uh, Mathly? Mm, yeah, I will activate it. I'm going to wait. I want to get the Ogi if I can. We did get fear at the beginning of the fight, so why not? As you can see that we did get the, uh, um, the dodge and it gets our free nuke, getting a stack. Can't complain about that. One thing I will mention though is that um, her passive, not passive, uh, mirror image dodge does not count to her to uh, to her passive nuke. So do keep note of that when using her. We got double. Okay, so there we go. We'll do this. Hit up with that attack boost. Cool. There you go. That works for me. Not having um, Neo does hurt a little bit. It hurts my damage. Feels bad. We have to, we have to, we have to, we have to, we have to clear this. The TA down. This does hurt a lot. Right. So we should be at the TA, hopefully. Of course. Of course. The game will let me down, of course. Got the main character. Lushia. I'm actually trying to avoid using too many nukes. Because we do get attack orders very quick with this team. 
which is good. One thing about this team is running these two characters together is that they do get um, good nuke synergy, but that's that the lack of overall buffs is here, so it hurts a little bit. Definitely need Neo to help boost the overall damage of the team. So so far, it's not too bad. Do attack orders now. You see that Monica already got five stacks out, so he maxed out in what less than ten turns. I think it's been what eight turns. She already maxed out. That's actually that's, that's really good that she maxed out that fast. Seven turns. The one thing I will note about her passive is that it does max out really quick. Provided you um, have a bot that multi attacks and stuff. Well, let's get another nuke right now. Not bad. It's like she's really not a bad character. I do wish she came out a little bit earlier, though. Because looking at her art, you can just tell. Like, even with Monica and Leshy in the party, you hear no voice lines. Like, I think she was about to come out way earlier. But I don't know what the, why they didn't make her come out. Actually, you don't enjoy fighting this boss too much because it's rather annoying. Because of the, like, debuffs. We have Apollo next turn. Uh, we can nuke. Sure. I wish I had Hangman. It's really annoying. Oh well. What can you do about it? At least my main character is free. <laughs> At the very least, my main character is free. Who does, she does most of the damage, so that's why I cleared her first. Taking almost five minutes to get through this. Get the main character. Baja. So we did cap all attack orders. But I'm just waiting right now. I won't hit attack orders yet. I'm actually want to hit it now if I can. Hmm. I guess we get the free nuke, why not? We still be getting hit by the um, second enemy. Even though it did do pretty good damage. Dodge. I always hate this boss because of the fact that he just spams that. It's just time consuming. That's why I usually don't fight her. If I can avoid it. Uh. I'm actually not going to ogie with her. So I want to break this boss if I can. Ooh, 700k auto is not bad. Not bad at all. Which it was a little bit more consistent. Oh well. So you may see it right here where I try to dodge with Kimot. Oh, actually, no, she, I don't have Kimot on her. She must have got a hit. That's what I guess happened. But still dodge anyway. You counter. I really, I, I'm, you know, I wasn't ultra fan of it when I first looked at it, but I'm loving it right now. Her passive is really good. The dodge into, um, into attack, into a nuke, it's just really, really good. Probably her best feature. Really solid for a free-to-play character. She does cost 20k Archeron points, so do know that. But honestly, for a free-to-play character, she's really good. Don't sleep on her. She's definitely a solid unit. Let's 
So I don't know how shield works with dodging. I, I don't know how that works, to be honest. So I don't know if that allows her to dodge. If it does, then it, then it should be fine to run with a like Neo. If you guys know any better ways to abuse her dodge, do tell me in the comments so I know. And then we spread some tech for her. But as far as I know, like you can't run T Mod and get the free dodge. If you could, that would be really good. I was kind of hoping a little bit more from the main character there. A little bit disappointed from the damage. Apollo. Like, I don't remember that time Monica was even hit, to be honest. Right now, the boss has been having a hard time hitting her. He's about to get hit right now, though. Did he just dodge that, too? Wow, this character is insane, bro. She's just not taking damage and countering left and right. That 70% dodge is too good. I went to have her EMP skill leveled up, but I haven't really been slamming much. That's the one thing Gaji Gold does. Um, video hasn't came out because I, I just haven't been sliming. Uh, so everybody wondering about him. I haven't really been doing it. Should be getting a nuke in a few. You have to make this now. We finally got to the point where I should start healing a little bit with the pot. But I'm not. <laughs> I should, but I'm not. Kind of want to see if I can do it without healing. It's really cool. Okay, maybe, 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 maybe I'm pushing it. I'm maybe pushing it right now. Let's just, you know, hit those pots really quick. <laughs> I wanted to, to try it, but let's not. We also still have access to our green, uh, our blue pot. Another veil. I actually don't like this move a lot. I always found it weird that the dirt boss can do a fire ogi. Just like, what the? <laughs> like, wait, what? I remember the first time I was hit with it, and I was like, wow. I didn't get wiped my team, too. Because I wasn't expecting it. And I was a lot weaker back then. So it, it was very annoying when I was first hit by it. Uh... Oh, see what's hit. Uh... Hopefully, we should be breaking the boss actually. So I don't even have to worry about another veil. To be honest. Yeah, we don't have to worry about it. We did get the dodge though. Wait. What? It dodged from. Oh, I see why. It was a dodge from Kimot Call. See, you can see there that even though she did dodge, she didn't get the counter. So do keep note of that when using her. That full chain. That's taking pretty long. We get a counter. Get another counter. Oh. 
her back up. So that's gonna be Apollo next turn. I think my full gun grid would be a little bit more optimal here. Nah, I think about it. I didn't really think too much about it, but I feel it would have been a little bit more optimal. Cause right now, the only, I only keep characters at full health because I want to. I don't really need to. Get a full chain here. Pretty good. I would have a way to get Monica's uh, speed up charge bar. I feel like if she had speed up charge bar, that would help her out a lot. She could just fire off nukes left and right. No, John does give 10% free charge bar. So it's not that bad. Uh, go with this. Heal her up. Cool. Oh, we got five? Wow, we got five fast. Monica goes really well with uh, Lesia because of the fact that she has so many nukes. So they just fire off nukes left and right. Really good. Charm, charm kicking in. Oh, uh, hit that. Cool. I'm saving my nukes for the next attack orders if I can. We're getting close to it. To be honest, the team is doing pretty well overall. This that the damage is a little bit low on my autos. It is high level, quote unquote, high level, so. Without Neo, the damage is just a little bit lacking. Not to mention the OG is lacking a little bit because, you know, no Shiete. Feels bad. The privilege I had of having my GW characters, you know, kind of missed them. I still live. Hopefully, I live. Let's find out. Yeah, we live fine. Oh, so you get the dodge. Two more turns to, to be the end of this. Or maybe not. Nah, I don't think it's over. Yeah, it's over. I'm about to hit all my nukes. Be fine. Well, that's the Monica in, in a nutshell. Um, I like her a lot, as you can tell. She did a, a lot of the damage came from her, especially her skill damage up and stuff. It was really good, really good. She's probably better in a long fight because you can get a lot of her nukes off. In a short fight, I, I don't know if I'll still use her or not, but in the long fight, she's really good. Wow, it lived. It probably has one health left. I wouldn't be surprised if it has one health left. Well, let me see. Let me drop Bahamut on it. Okay, it has a little bit more than that. Man, that's annoying. But if you guys liked that video, thank you guys for watching. If you want to drop a like on the video, I appreciate it. If you have any comments, leave, in the, uh, leave it in the uh, comment sections. Uh, I will note that last video was not my account. I may be doing videos on somebody else's account every now and then. Um, so do pay attention to that. I don't think it matters much personally. But I um, just want to throw that out there. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Wow. Wow. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.